Today I'm going to teach you how to make the TH sound. So this is a sound that a lot of people find really tricky, native and non-native speakers alike. And it's a sound that can get in the way and lead to not just misunderstanding, but a sound of um, sometimes sloppiness or sometimes really placing some people in a certain context. And it's really nice and empowering to have the choice. And this sound is one of those sounds that can give you the choice about where you're placed. So it suits us to be able to have choices as human beings. So let's have a go at getting this sound. It's the TH sound and it sounds like this. Now, there are two types of um, this sound. One is voiced and one is voiceless. So when we're doing the voice sound, uh, literally our vocal cords are vibrating and you can just switch on the voice. So we'll do it now, the. And now the voiceless. Now I put my fingers to my throat because you can feel that there's a vibration when you put your fingers there and you're doing voiced. So that's a good way just to check what's going on. So how do we make this sound? Well, as you saw, your tip of your tongue is going to go um, in between your top and your bottom teeth like this. And then we do really like a light touch. So it's so you could almost try thinking of bouncing your top teeth off your tongue and you're just blowing a little gust of air through. And it's delicate, a bit like your top teeth are kissing your bottom, your tongue. It's um, really important that we don't go too hard. Da, like that, because then it can sound like da. And it's important that your the tip of your tongue is in between your teeth, i.e. you can see it. Otherwise it can sound like da. Now, another potential issue with this sound is that we could exchange it, this is what a lot of people do, for a fa. So you might say thing instead of thing. Now, if you are one of those who do that, it's very easy to change, but you do need to put a little bit of effort in to build that new neural network in your brain, which is essentially going to um, build a pathway. And when you see the TH, instead of associating that sound with teeth on lip, Fa, you're going to associate that sound with tongue in between teeth like this. Now the way to do that is simple and it is repetition. So let's do it a few times together and get you used to it. And then if it, you think you've got an issue with this sound, then just practice. Do this maybe 20 times, do it for a week in the morning if you can, and things will start to change really quickly. So let's do it together maybe five times now. Excellent. And now let's do it voiced. The, 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 the. Really good. So if you want to do some more practice, you can just add some simple sounds at the beginning and the end like this. The, they, though, thy. And do the same with voiceless. The, they, though. Thy. You don't actually need to whisper the whole thing. Um, let's do that again. The, they, tho, thy. Great. So that's one to really get into practicing. And now we'll just do it with some words. So if this is challenging for you, you might find when you get into words, particularly if you read them, your old neural network will come in as if from a curveball and try and dominate. So it's really useful to do this with a mirror and just take that control. Just go, no, my tongue's gonna go in between my teeth and that's absolutely fine. Um, and don't be worried if you go to your old habit, like a duh or a fa. Just literally get the mirror, go slowly, building a new neural network just takes a bit of patience. It's easy to do, but it is about just repeating it. So let's do some words. Three, first, thin, thread, path, thick, thumb, mouth, bath. There you go. Now we're going to do some voiced because that was voiceless. So let's have a go. This. These, 
they, those, either, bathe, soothe, together. Okay, so if you feel confident with that and you practice that a bit, let's now move on to a little sentence. But in fact, before we do, I'd like to just show you a really quick, a quick trick. So if you're struggling with this sound, this is a way to just get into it easily. So go da 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 with the D sound. But as you're doing it, I want you to slowly stick your tongue out your mouth like this. Da 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 da. Okay, let's try one more time. Da 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 da. Now you can hear how your how the sound quality actually changes. So that is because simply. It's um, just a muscular thing. You need to get your tongue in between your teeth, the, the sound changes. And you can do the same with the t. So again, to make that th sound, it really is just the tongue in between your front two, your top and your bottom teeth. So now we'll do a very little sentence and then I'll leave you to practice at home. There were three thin thieves. Okay, let's do that one more time. There were three thin thieves. Okay, great. So I encourage you to write your own little sentences, to practice with words, and if you need to go back to basics, start with a sound and a mirror. Good luck.